Thank you for watching everyone. Welcome back. I bought a new car, a 1968 Mercury Cougar. I'll uh, walk, give you guys a walk around and show you what's going on. It's been off the road since 1975. It does not run, it does not drive. So I can get the hood open. Ford 302 with a two barrel carburetor, C4 automatic transmission. I have not tried to turn the engine over. Uh, all I have done is take the air cleaner off and spray off the bolts with PB Blaster and WD-40 to try to loosen them up to make my life easier. No mice have been caught yet. There was a nest in there, but I took that out. I didn't see any indication of mice getting inside there. Though a major concern with this engine is rust. Checking the dipstick, there's no oil on it. The tip of it is broke off. So that is what we are working with. Later, I will take these valve covers off check to see if the valves are stuck. Power steering as an option. Now, as you can probably tell already, this car was in a wreck, probably back in the day. This quarter panel here, front fender, does not match the rest of the car. Though it fits nicely, the color is not correct, even though it looks like someone had painted it the correct color at one point. There is a big dent in the side of the door, but I do have a replacement door. This hood is obviously a different color, probably because the other one was replaced. Need a starter solenoid. A little damage to the grill. I need a new bumper, new driver's side front fender. I need wheels. These are rusted out because they've been sitting so long. I'll take a look inside. So the dash, when I looked at the car, was covered with cardboard. So someone made it a good attempt to protect it from the sun, but the weather strip around the window went out and I think water started getting in, kind of ruined the dash pad. This door does shut. It does line up pretty nice. The hinges need new bushings in them because it doesn't line up. You have to lift up on the door to get it in. Now I have not cleaned this car yet. I have not done anything except explore a little bit. So this is what you see is how I picked it up. My dad helped pick, pick it up with me and my brother helped unload it. So thank you very much to you two. Headliner came down. Back seat. It is kind of dark in here. I'm going to get a light real quick. Okay. No mice yet. The odometer says 2,000 miles. hundred and two based on how everything looks as much as I'd like for it to be 2,000 miles. It's not Steering wheel looks okay Not too bad There's some spare parts for a 1970 Mercury Cougar on the floor automatic transmission C4 Front of the dash does look pretty nice That quarter or that door panel looks nice also, but we'll know for sure once we clean it up more Back seat, doesn't look too bad. No rips or tears that I can see at the moment. Carpet, is just dirty, needs to be re re replaced. The seat here does have a rip, so does the passenger seat. 
over there. But uh, this car doesn't actually smell too bad. You know, it smells like a mouse house here and there. But it's not too smelly. It could be worse. It could be a lot worse. Okay, here's what's in, ba in the back of the trunk. Let's see if we can get my light set up. Uh, we got some spare parts, some leftover parts. I'll be needing one of these fender extensions. I won't need the emblems in this trim piece. It's nice to see that there though. Got a bucket of parts, rear view mirror, the side emblems for the rear cord panels. The, oh, here's the lock for the trunk because I noticed when I bought the car, that was gone. So that's nice to find that. I don't know if we can reuse it. Uh, another thing I'm missing is the keys. There are no keys for this car that I have found yet. Maybe they're in this bucket because I haven't really looked at this car a whole lot because it's been so cold out. Nothing in there. It's the alternator. It's stuck, so I guess I'll have to buy another one. Some other trim pieces here for the side lights, I think. Reflectors for the rear core panel. Piece of rubber. That's nice to see. Not broken or cracked. Got these things, which I have no idea where they go. Well, I know that's for the alternator. That bolt. This canister, I have no idea what that is for. I'm guessing it's a vacuum canister, but that's just a guess. I do need rear taillights. The car did not come with rear taillights. So I will need some of those. I uh, kind of figured it was in a wreck, Based on all the body work and that, and this bent hood hinge left over. Yeah, when I was taking the car back here, there's a bunch of chunks of stuff flying off the car when I was going off the highway. So I left a little trail. There's a plate, 1974. I still have this old sticker. I like to see this nice blue paint on the inside of this trunk lid. There are no huge, huge dents besides the passenger door, which I do have a replacement right here. It does have this crease in it though, which is easier to fix than a gigantic dent. Take a look on this side. This door, based on how it looks, does not look the best, but it does open, open and close, surprisingly. Nice quarter panel. Rip seat. 1970 Mercury Cougar hideaway lights. They don't fit this car as far as I know, so those are for sale. See how this door closes? Not too bad, not too bad. 
The only other dents I see are here and here in the roof. I don't like to see all those leaves in there, but they're there. 14 inch wheels, still had the bias ply tires on it. So quite obviously someone made a good attempt at fixing this car. They just didn't quite make it there yet. Okay, here's the passenger side. I'll show you in this wheel well a little bit. I see all this uh, undercoating or sound deadening material peeling off, but I've not seen any major rust in the wheel wells at least. Three of these tires held air. This one obviously did not, but did help loading it on the trailer. Now for the worst of it, for the rust that I can see so far, is this torque box. It's all rusty and crusty. This floor, all right here, the passenger floor is all rusted. You can see the carpet on the inside. See if I can show you. Yeah. Frame rail right here is good. Once we get into this area, We'll find out. But the front one does look good. This tie rod here, I don't think that's supposed to be bent like that. First, it's going to be the engine. That's where I'm going to start because it'll have to come out, be the engine. Transmission will get rebuilt while the engine is out. This engine bay area we'll get put back to how it looked in 1968 i'm not gonna quite start on the body yet i just want to get the mechanicals going so it can run drive sort of stop once i get that engine transmission done and get under the hood situated we'll start working on front suspension next and the brakes that sort of thing so you'll start to see this car in other videos the model t will be restored still so keep a lookout for that there will be more videos for that coming out hopefully soon uh, thanks for watching everyone like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one